Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neon, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be checking out the Sun Knight Bloodline in Shindalife. Now, before we get into it, I just want to mention that I'll be leaving the link for my Discord server down below. So if you just want to talk to people that play Shindle like you, or if you need any help boss grinding, or even if you have any questions about the game, you can go ahead and join the server. I'll be leaving the link for that in the description, like I said. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. So in case you didn't know, Sun Knight is a limited time clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 out of 300. If you have the Bloodline Bag Game Pass, you can also just buy it, but like I always say, I don't really recommend that. Anyways, it's also a variation of Doom shadow so basically it's the skin of doom shadow um that's really it but honestly i think it's one of the better looking skins in the game i would compare it to strange and fate they're really cool looking um but yeah i mean let's not waste too much time i don't want to make this too much of a long video let's mode up there we go you can see this i am the knight he says like i am vengeance i am the knight you know as you can see it looks very cool let's turn the ui off looks very cool um yeah it looks very awesome also you can see the stats on the right i think i said that already uh i might have fucking schizophrenia or something anyways let's get started so the first move is called knuckle sandwich oh wait actually no we won't be able to use the moves on our beloved logs anyways we have some dudes right here so like i said the first move is called knuckle sandwich as you can see it's a really nice ability it you grab them slam them on the ground and you can that's basically kind of like a combo starter and it does you know pretty good amount of damage anyways now it is time for the second move it is called grappling combo it is a point and click as you can see basically pull them towards you and then you like kind of similar to the first move um you you know just fucking you know bring them to you and oh shit he auto dodged all these moves are comboable into each other so just know that anyways it is the final move now it is called smoke bomb this affects multiple people so you can see It affects multiple people and you can basically just beat the shit out of multiple people in like the smoke uh so they you know they have very minimal visibility and yeah overall it's a pretty decent move anyways now that we're done with that it is time for the e-spec or the weapon spec as you can see it basically throws a bunch of like kind of electrified kunais and then it explodes at the end it's actually not that bad of an ability and it also has like a 15 or 16 second recharge which is very nice anyways now it is time for the q spec as you can see activate the counter there you go you basically throw them into an air combo and then you can start being like if you like m1 them that happens you throw them on the ground and it deals some extra damage it's honestly not that bad of an ability but yeah that's really it for that and now it is finally time for i think the coolest ability in this bloodline and this is going to be the c-spec um you turn into a car um as you can see and then you i don't know if you can see but you basically like fucking dazzle them or whatever and then you just explode um <laughs> it's yeah it's very uh odd but it's not that bad for team fights it's similar to headless i think and also uh some moves that kind of like ragdoll and stuff but this one just kind of like just stuns them and that's really it so let me just use like the first ability maybe he has enough health there we go and yeah just like that he's dead anyways apart from that as you can see the mode looks sick in the nighttime um Oh, you can't fly, but you can glide. Actually, I was going to say that's actually something really cool. Hold on, let me just get up here. Um, if you get to a high point in the game, uh, you can't really fly, but you can glide, as you can see. It's kind of weird. I never understood how this works, but yeah, you can glide around in this. But apart from that, there's not much else to say. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This bloodline was overall maybe like a 7 out of 10. The moves don't really cost all that much, but it is really rare. You can also just get it in the wealth coin shop instead of spinning or getting it. But if you want to recommend a future bloodline that you want me to showcase, make sure to go join my Discord server in the link below. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, peace out, guys.